Hello my creepy lovelies and welcome back for another cliffhanger text story. This one was on the run and it was requested or more like commanded by Aaron Swallow. Or Swallows. I, okay, I'm going to stop saying that word. Um, well, I hope that you guys enjoy this. Seems like it's going to be a Jason thing and I don't really care for Jason, but let's begin. Ellis, oh my gosh. Are you there? I'm freaking right now. Freaking out right now. Someone is following me. What the heck? Just emojis? Uh, okay, I'll do that emoji, I guess. Is your phone still messed up? How can I talk to you if your stupid phone won't, can only send emojis? <laughs> I don't want to send that one. It seems like that's just being an a-hole. <laughs> oh. It's not funny. <laughs> anyway, some guy has been following me for two blocks. I haven't turned around to look, but I can feel him staring at me. Yeah, I have coins, so why not a picture? Yeah, I get it. I want to spend the coins. Good idea. I'll just snap a pic over my shoulder and see what he looks like. You don't know what he looks like yet? It's actually Jason! Wait a minute. Okay, that's... <laughs> okay, it's a Jason mask, but that bat looks a little, you know like Walking Dead, so I guess it's a good mixture. Okay, definitely a crazy weirdo, you think? He's walking faster towards me. <laughs> wave. You know what? Why not wave? Why not? Um, okay. I guess I shouldn't judge him by his appearance. Okay, let me tell you guys. Usually they say don't judge a book by its cover, but if the cover looks like that, go ahead and judge. <laughs> I'll just turn around and say hi. Maybe he wants to be friends. Yeah, because I always come at my friends wearing a hockey mask and a bat. Well, you don't wear a bat, but you know what I mean. He wants to be friends. A hug, laugh. <laughs> Hopefully I won't be stupid enough to hug him. Okay, I'll turn on the charm. <laughs> Let me just introduce myself. Oh, he bowed at me really politely. <laughs> Maybe he's not so bad after all. Okay. Um, he's kind of raising his bat up like he wants to smash me with it. Fight or run. You know what? Why not fight? Oops. Hmm. I could jab him with a pokey stick. A pointy stick. I guess I've got nothing to lose except for your life. It's him or me, right? Where should I poke him? In the eyes and the eggplant. Oh! <laughs> I was like, in the eggplant? <laughs> Now, of course, because I'm a very mature, respectable adult, I immediately want to go for the eggplant. <laughs> you should book them in the eyes, actually, but you know what? Why not? Let's go with the eggplant. Gross. <laughs> okay. He did not like that. Well, duh. He's rolling around and moaning. Dead or run? I guess I'm asking if he's dead? You're right. This is my chance to finish him off. Oh, that's what I was saying. Okay. Okay, I poked him with the stick like a million times. He's bleeding. Oh, God. I think I killed him. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm either a psychopath or a jerk in this story. <laughs> Why would you celebrate? Okay, I don't know. Um... I feel like the decent thing to do is that, but eh, let's celebrate. Why not? We did it! <laughs> Wait a minute. He's moving. He's getting up. Yeah, seriously, run. <laughs> Running. He's chasing me. I think I really hurt him. He's slowing down a little. What? He just fell over. I think he's bleeding. Oh well, yeah, I stabbed him. Yes, all my stick poking worked. I lost him. <laughs> I'm calling an Uber. My driver, Piotri, Piotr, <laughs> will be here in four minutes. Should I hide until he gets here? Your driver, Piotr, is, P <laughs> is arriving now. Look for the green Toyota Prius. My ride is here. 
Yay, Piotr! <laughs> Where are you? I am outside Wilmot Hotel. Get out of there, P Piotr! <laughs> are you... Are you large man wearing mask? I think I see you. <laughs> oh my goodness, I am honking. No! Piotr, no! <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna laugh at that, that's just messed up. <laughs> poor Piotr. He's killing poor Piotr. I can't just let him die. What should I do? Okay. The options are punch or do your nails. <laughs> Why would you... Why would you do your nails? And I assumed Ellis was a man, because Ellis is a man's name, right? So... <laughs> I don't think he'd have nail polish on him. <laughs> but oh, that costs money. Okay, whatever. You're right. I'm coming to save you, Piotr. Yes. I pulled him off of Piotr. Then we both started beating on him. <laughs> then Piotr spit off a red over him a couple of times. Can you imagine hearing that in the news? A uh, uh, would-be serial killer gets beat up by two guys and ran over a few times. I'm sorry, I don't know why that's hilarious to me. We did it! Yeah. Thanks for riding and helping kill Maniac. Do not forget to tip and give five stars. Dude, I saved your life. You, okay, you don't need no... What the heck? If I save someone's life, they better not be like, oh, I need a tip. Like, no, screw you. <laughs> Congratulations. Ellis and Piotr both escaped. They're safe and the madman is dead. <laughs> Either thumbs up. Okay, thumbs up. <laughs> yes, great work. <laughs> okay. Okay, that one was a fun one. I like that one. I'll probably play it again just like, you know, literally just for fun and see what else you can do. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that one, and I'll see you next week for another Cliffhanger Tech Story.